Hello, it's me again. Do you know what fish species loves acrobatics? Well, you got it right. It's the tarpon. Locally, it's known as Indo-Pacific tarpon. It's a relatively medium-sized species of tarpon. There are only two species in the genus Megalops, namely Megalops atlanticus. This is the big one, but the one we're going to talk about is Megalops cyprinoids, commonly known as Indo-Pacific tarpon. Tarpons are a species of air-breathing fish that usually move in groups, leaving quite a few air bubbles every time they breathe, so it's easy to identify them. Indo-Pacific tarpon can be found along the east coast of Africa, Southeast Asia, Japan, Tahiti, and Australia. Fly fishermen and ultralight fishing anglers love them. Indo-Pacific tarpon is one of the most hunted fish here in Malaysia. The acrobatic shows every time you catch them will make anglers keep hunting them. It's really a cunning fish, and it's not easy to land it. Believe me, you will probably swear a few times. The best time to hunt Indo-Pacific tarpon is from morning until evening as they always travel in a group. You can see them keep releasing bubbles as they move. They are fierce during tides and move both high and low. The smaller the baits, the better the strike rate you will get. Grenzi Strike Brudu and Geli Geli Worms work wonderfully. Topwater lures like pencils and poppers will also work. Now I would personally recommend that you use an ultralight setup since the common size is between 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters, and you will definitely enjoy it. If you are using lures like worms, small jigs, small spoons, sinking pencils, or any of the like, do this, jerk and pause, then repeat. Same with the top water lures like pencils and poppers. You need to have that pause moment. The speed you decide will be based on your situation. To catch tarpons is easy. Just wait for the bubbles. The second that you see them, you can cast exactly to where the bubbles are and then jerk it straight. Active tarpons usually will strike on the drop. Your casting accuracy and the timing will also play a significant role here. If you are slow, then they swim down and will keep moving. For me, tarpon is a game fish since the meat is full of bones. Personally, I believe this is one of the game fish that we should practice catch and release with. Enjoy the game, use your landing net and proper hooks, and release. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Cheers.